Hey everybody, welcome back to Henry Disc Golf. Today I'm out at Silver Fox with Jesse and Franklin. Today I'm going to be shooting a break 60 challenge for myself out here on this course. This course is probably one of the more difficult courses in the area and the best I've ever shot out here is a plus two. So we're definitely trying to see if we can go ahead and break that par barrier. Today uh, you may hear Franklin and or Jesse on the commentary as well. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, welcome to hole number one. Hole number one is a 301 foot shot, basically straight ahead down the hill. I'm going to be going with the finish line pace, trying to see if we can get her down there. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. I am left probably with about a 40, 45 footer slightly uphill. We're going to go ahead and see if we can put it by the basket. All right, here are the results of my attempt at a putt. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to hole number two. Hole number two is uh, basically straight ahead down the hill, tails off to the left a little bit. It is 344 feet. We're going to go with a champion Hawkeye. Oh, I yanked it. Hey, it came back to the fairway. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. I did wind up kicking something coming back into the fairway. Here we're left with a downhill throw, probably right at about 75, 80 feet. Sit. There we go. All right, guys, so here are the results of my upshot. Left here with about a 15 footer. Jerry. And tapping for a bogey. All right, guys, welcome to hole number three. Hole number three is a 308 foot par three. It is straight out and then pretty much dog legs over to the left trying to throw something over stable and get it up there all right i'm gonna go ahead and go with the champion eagle skip that's a great skip all right guys here are the results of my drive we are looking probably at about a 35, 40 footer. Another long putt. Try to see if we can get it in the basket here. Hey guys, welcome to hole number four. Hole number four is a 410 foot par three. It is basically down the hill and then just kind of drifts off to the right a little bit. Let's see how we go. It's not bad. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. I did just get into the stuff a little bit, looking at probably going with a sidearm with a drawbreaker zone. Try to see if we can go ahead and get her up there. All right, here's the results of my up. Nice, easy tapping for par. All right, guys, welcome to hole number five. It is a 422 foot par three. Basically, you're going straight out and then it does kind of tail to the left there. I'm gonna go with my champion eagle, just try to put it in a spot in the middle of the fairway. 
and then throw an upshot from there. Sit. Ah, uh, that pushed the left side too much. All right, guys, so I want up right here. Um, basically, what I think I'm going to wind up doing is just throwing a shot out. Unfortunately, probably taking another bogey on this hole. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. Unfortunately, playing a little bit of army golf right now. From the left to the right. We're going to go ahead and go with the Blue Star AVR. Try to see if we can put it up by the basket. Oh, that was way too low. All right, guys, here are the results of that upshot. Left here with about a 12-footer. Uh, Let's put it in the basket. All right, guys, welcome to hole number six. Hole number six is a 504-foot par four. Basically, it's a straight shot. The fairway is kind of sloped to the left of the hole way. We're going to go ahead and go with the Discmania Enigma, trying to put it down there in a decent spot to get an upshot to the basket. And every time I throw this hole, I throw it low. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. It wasn't very good. We're going to go with the Hawkeye, try to see if we can put it down by the basket here. Why is it holding the hyzer? Well, here we are, guys. Quite a bit in the woods here, trying to see what I have for a shot. Looks like I got potentially an overhand look here. Try to see if we can... Put it up by the basket. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm way in the crap again. We're going to go ahead and try to put this by the basket for a second time with an overhand shot. There Finally. You go. That's fine. All right, and here are the results. Taking a five, another Boy. bogey. All right, guys, welcome to hole six. Hole six. Hole 60. <laughs> Gosh damn you, Franklin. All right, guys, welcome to hole number seven. Hole number seven is a 360-foot par three. It is straight ahead and then just kind of tails off a little bit to the right. We're going to go with the champion Hawkeye here. Let's try to see if we can Heiser flip it down there. <laughs> Two, three. All right, guys, here we are. We have a, a little anti shot. We're going to go with the blue AVR. Try to see if we can just put it by the basket. All right, guys, here are the results of my upshot. Definitely left it with a little bit more than what I wanted. All right, guys, here's my upshot. We are about 12 feet away. Let's see if we can put this in for a par. All right, guys, welcome to hole number eight. Hole number eight is a 252, I believe, foot hole. If not, it'll be on the bottom of the screen. Uh, basically, it goes down this hill and then Pretty good dog leg over to the left. We're going to go with the Big Z zone. Try to see if we can put it up there. Oh, that was tight. Not up there. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. Hit the tree here, drop down. Definitely didn't get that far off the tee pad. We're going to go with the finish line pace. Try to see if we can put it right by the basket. Nice shot. All right, here are the results of my upshot. 
left here again with about another 12 footer. Welcome to hole number nine. Hole number nine is a 483 foot par four. We're gonna go with Champion Hawkeye. Oh, too tight. Good catch. All right, guys, here are the results of my second shot. Going ahead, go with the blue AVR, try to put this by the basket. Sit. Why are we fluffing so much? All right, so here are the results of my upshot there. Definitely hazard off a lot more than I wanted. Let's try to put this in the basket. We're at about 20 feet out. There you go. All right, guys, welcome to hole number 10. Hole number 10 is a 296 foot par three up the hill, slightly over to the left. A scoring update real quick. I am plus three so far through the round, going with the champion eagle, trying to see if we can get it up to those rocks in the fairway. Nice. Nice little skip up the hill. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. Left here with about a 20-footer uh, uphill. Probably will be playing a lot more like 25. All right, guys, welcome to hole number 11. Hole number 11 is a 344-foot shot downhill, par 3. We're going to go with the electron matrix, try to see if we can get it down there. All right, guys, here are the results of my drive. I did get down here. I do have a little bit of an obstruction with these trees. So we're going to go with a little hyzer putt around the trees, try to see if we can put this in there. Good putt. All right, guys, welcome to hole number 12. Hole number 12 is a 391 foot par four, I think. Let's find out. Par four. 391 foot par four. Basically, you're just trying to throw something out to the landing zone, and then you have a shot that's up the hill and kind of tails off to the right as your second shot. We're gonna go with the finish line pace, try to put it up there in the landing zone for a good shot. Uh, it's not gonna be far enough. Well, I may have pushed just far enough. All right, guys, here are the results of my drive. I'm gonna go with my drawbreaker zone, try to keep it straight, kind of flat and low, hopefully have it skip up the hill a little bit. Good shot. All right, guys, so here we are. The results of my second shot, looking at about a 30 footer slightly uphill, actually quite a bit uphill. Try to see if we can put it in. Good run. And tapping for par. And all right guys, welcome to hole 13. Hole 13 is a 489 foot par four. It's basically straight down through this gap and then it goes up and over the hill. I'm gonna go with my New Prairie Open Hawkeye. Try to see if we can get it out in the opening. Oh, Heiser. Nope. Yeah, that's I that's my typical my typical throw here. This is... All right, guys. So here are the results of my drive. As I got stuff around my head and keep hitting it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go with the Ping Champion Hawkeye. Try to 
put it out towards the top of the hill by the big tree. Not quite. That's in the open. All right, guys, here are the results of my upshot. I'm going to go ahead and go with the drawbreaker zone. Try to see if we can get it down by the basket. Oh, I turned it. Why? All right, so here are the results of my third shot. Going to go ahead and go with my blue star AVR. Try to put this on a little hyzer. Just get it to set up by the basket. That should work. All right, here's the results of that upshot. Tapping in for a five. All right, here we are, guys, on hole 14. Hole 14 is a 538-foot par four. I'm going with Champion Hawkeye. Trying to throw it straight. This hole does basically kind of push to the left the whole way through its, uh, through the distance of it. Oh, hyzer a little bit. That's going to be fun. Now you see me? I'm here somewhere, somewhere back there. All right, so I don't have a lot other than kind of a pitch out here, so I'm going to pitch out. That'll work. All right, guys, here are the results of my pitch out. Um, we're looking probably at about a 100 foot slightly downhill. This is going to want to push to the left shot. I'm going to go with the blue star AVR. Try to just put it down by the basket. That's going to hyzer out a bit. Sit. That'll be fine. All right, guys, here are the results of my upshot. We're left here with about a 12-footer. Whenever I say 12-footer, I make it, so I'm going to keep saying 12-footers even though they're not 12-footers. All right, guys, welcome to hole 15. Hole 15 is a 441-foot par 4. I'm going to go with the Prairie Open Hawkeye. Let's try to put it out there into a spot so we can have an upshot into the basket. Oh, I yanked it again. Why am I getting the freaking yanks on this hole? All right, guys, here is the results of my drive. I did yank it over. I'm just going to try to see if I can put something out into the fairway. Here are the results of my shot out of the woods. I'm going to go ahead and go with the electron matrix, put it on an anti line, try to see if we can put it by the basket. Get another par. Oh, that's not going to turn enough. All right, guys, so here are the results of my upshot there or attempt at getting up to the basket. We are left here with a pretty steep little hyzer shot. We're going to go with a low shot with an AVR. Try to see if we can get it up by the basket for a putt. That'll work. All right, guys, here are the results of the upshot. Looking at a bogey. All right, guys, welcome to hole 16. Hole 16 is a 409 foot par three. We're going to go with the finish line era. Try to throw this thing straight and hard. Try to get a little bit more distance than I normally do on this hole. Trying to see if we can get some birdies to finish out the round. Possibly see if we can shoot that 60. Fade. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. We are still left with about 
80 or 90 feet in, we're going to go with the finish line pace. Try to put it up by the basket. That'll work. Thank you. All right, guys, and the results of my up. Tapping in for a par. All right, guys, welcome to hole number 17. Hole number 17 is a 317-foot par 3. I'm going to go with the Exodus. Try to put this out a little wide and have it hopefully crash down by the basket. Not quite. It's over there. All right, guys, here are the results of my drive. Uh, the basket's probably about 40 feet in front of me here, um, but we do have these trees here. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw a uh, kind of tomahawk scuba type of shot here, hopefully get it to fade a little bit towards the basket. Oh, that was terrible. All right, so you can't see me. I'm in the tree over here. Uh, left with probably only about 15 feet, but I have all this crap in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and go with a little sidearm Annie flick shot at the basket here. To be honest, I don't think I'm trying to make it. I'm just trying to put it by it. All right, and... Tapping in for a bogey. All right, guys, welcome to hole 18. Hole 18 is a 366 foot par three. It is slightly downhill. You have a tunnel basically the whole way. It kind of gently goes over to the right. We're gonna go with the pink champion Hawkeye. Try to see if we can put it in a good spot. All right, guys, so here are the results of my drive. I do have a little bit of a lane here, I'm trying to see if we can go ahead and get it up towards the basket. I'm going to go with the Blue Star AVR. Try to see if we can get it up by the basket. All right, guys, here are the results of my upshot. Left here with a pretty short our putt. Tapping it in. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I did not unfortunately break 60 today. I did shoot four over, so 64. Definitely with a lot of fun. Going to come back out here and do it again in another month and try to see if we can go ahead and break 60 out here. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Make it good for somebody else. We'll see you.